How much measurement risk remains in our process after achieving a 4 to 1 TUR? Disclaimer: This video assumes one does not have enough product information from historical data to use a joint probability function and uses conditional probability or specific risk. Current industry assumptions are that a 4 to 1 TUR is a recipe for maximum confidence with minimal decision risk. The process measurement is always centered. We are going to disprove these assumptions by showing the true risk associated with a 4 to 1 TUR, as well as discuss why the location of the measurement matters. Let's start with traditional logic using a 4 to 1 TUR. The process is perfectly centered and the measured value is 1000 within the tolerance specification of 0.1% of full scale. If the process never moved from this location, Calibration intervals can be set in decades and the measurement risk is trivial. The graph shows normally distributed data. There is a lower tolerance limit to the left and an upper tolerance limit to the right. Now the measurement location of the process has moved. Many would consider location well within tolerance and perfectly safe. However, when considering the new location, measurement risk may no longer be trivial. The area of the distribution beyond the tolerance limit is 5.8%. At this point, measurement risk becomes process risk and there is a 5.8% chance that you are calling something good when it is bad. This is noted by a CPK of 0.533. CPK? What's CPK? CPK is a statistical tool to measure the ability of a process to produce output within tolerance specification limits. A CPK in the production world of 1.33 would mean 0.0063% of parts would fail. This is typically referred to as adequate. In metrology, a CPK of better than 0.667 at 95% confidence is considered acceptable. There is another 4 to 1 TUR example. We move the measured value in this scenario to 75% of the tolerance. This 4 to 1 TUR table is showing that if we want to minimize our risk, we are going to need to shrink our acceptance limit to 75.5% of the tolerance. The area outside of the tolerance is 2.275%, CPK is 0.667 and the overall measurement risk is less than 2.5%. The probability of false accepting the measurement result is 2.275%. Most in metrology working with a 95% measurement confidence want to achieve a result with less than 2.5% single-sided risk. Here we have a TUR table showing 95% measurement confidence. The table shows the lower and upper limits where the measured value must fall between to limit the risk to 2.5% on each side. Let us assume a 1 to 1 TUR looking at a perfectly centered measurement. There is little to no room for any variation in the process measurement, making a conformity assessment with a 1 to 1 TUR almost always required the measured value to have no bias. In this case, if the measurement is not perfect, there will be more than 2.5% single-sided risk. Ways to Limit Your Measurement Risk Selecting a calibration supplier like Morehouse that offers the smallest measurement uncertainty, continuous improvement of the calibration process, utilizing the appropriate reference standards. Calculating measurement risk with respect to the location of the measurement, CPK is a great tool.